Hello Snowflake engineers and welcome to the video. If you don't know me, I am Sujit Nair, a cloud data architect. I am also a Snowflake SnowPro certified professional. In today's video, I will be covering certification question related to SnowPro. Let's begin. How does Snowflake user reference a directory table created on a stage my stage in an SQL query? I'll give you a couple of seconds to try and come up with an answer. The right answer to this question is select star from directory and then in parentheses at the rate my stage. Now let's jump into a demo to try and validate if this is accurate or not. So I'm going to start off by creating a target database. And inside this target database, I'm, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a stage called my stage. Now I have used an S3 bucket that has been provided by Snowflake in its quick start guide. So even you can use this if you are interested. So I go ahead and I create what is known as my stage. The case actually does not matter. I could keep it uppercase or lowercase and it would still work fine. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select from this stage with the keyword directory as is listed here and let's see if it works now when i try to do this it says that the directory is not enabled for the stage my stage and the reason for that is because when we created the stage we did not use this clause directory enable equal to true so we could recreate the stage by using directory enable equal to true or alternatively, we could also use an alter statement to enable a directory that is already created. In our particular case, we will just go ahead and recreate the directory with enable equal to true. And now that we have enabled the directory, let's try and run the select statement again. As you can see, we were able to select from the directory object and we have all the information we need so the right answer to the question is select star from directory at the rate my stage